This is my wife, Andrea, and as long as I've known her, she's had this knack for taking old outdated things and turning them into something beautiful. So after seeing this about a thousand times, I took it upon myself to make her a channel because she wouldn't do it herself. And so now I'm super excited to share with you the creative adventures of my DIY wife. Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Dean and Andrea, and today we are so excited because we're sharing with you one of the biggest DIY adventures that we've ever put on YouTube. We're gonna show you how we took this small bathroom and just totally gutted it, changed the design, and gave it a totally new look. And we've been doing these kind of projects together for more than 10 years now, but we've never actually filmed it and documented that entire process from start to finish. And if you thought Andrea's furniture transformations were exciting, then you should see this bathroom because home remodeling is where I think she really shines. We know you guys have been so patiently waiting for these and we are so excited to finally get to share this bathroom. So without further ado, let's get started. This upstairs bathroom is shared by our older two kids and is one of the last spaces in our house to renovate. This bathroom is actually a great size, but it had this really awkward little corner vanity that really had no usable storage. So we started out by pulling out that vanity along with the matching fur down and light fixture. off so that the electrician can come and put in and just move the wiring for the sconces on this wall. We have a plug to move and we're actually going to be taking this vanity out and building a custom vanity to go on this wall and this space is going to look totally different. I can't wait to get it finished. done quite a bit of basic electrical work in the past, we decided to hire it out just to keep the project moving and save on time. Next, I unhooked the plumbing and started working on taking this old vanity out. Alright, we got that weird 
little corner vanity out and it was a beast to take out. It was solid wood with a bunch of big construction nails and we also found a wire. You shouldn't do that. Don't run wires underneath your vanity. So we're going to have to call the electrician back out. They just left. We did know to check for a wire under the vanity, but it's looking good or it's looking bad before it looks good. All right. Next, Andrea took some measurements and put those math skills to good work to figure out how much shiplap we needed. <laughs> how much can a minivan hold? Too much, we didn't have to drive very far. And then of course, we spent the better part of the next half hour unloading all of the supplies. started working on removing the tub and shower surround and really there's just no easy way around this. It was messy and a whole lot of work and I definitely needed Dean's help to get it done. Alright guys, where are we going to eat dinner? Chipotle! Chipotle, baby! Uh, Chipotle! <laughs> we got an echo. Chipotle. The next day we were ready to finish up demo and after about a hundred trips up and down the stairs, we found a really creative solution for getting these materials out of the house. bought our house about 75% of it was covered in these fake brick floors and I am just a little bit excited about finally getting rid of the rest of it. This old tub was already chipped and stained and we were not planning on reusing it and since it was so heavy we decided to break it apart to more easily get it out. We're not even sure it was possible for us to carry it down the stairs together, but it did make for one of the most exciting moments of our entire renovation. Yeah. 
With the old tub out, we were ready to bring in the new one. Next, it was time to get this old toilet out. It was super heavy, it barely worked, and so I sent it off in a blaze of glory. And yes, I did create myself quite the mess to clean up, but admit it, you loved watching that toilet get smashed into a thousand pieces, didn't you? With demo finally done, we could get started on the part that I like the most, and that is putting everything back together again. I decided to add vertical shiplap in here and we have this in a few other places of the house and I really just felt like it would tie it all together. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are officially out of shiplap so I'm going to make a shiplap run. I need 18, count them, 18 pieces of shiplap. So you see the only problem with going to get shiplap right now is that when you're in project mode, there's lots of people at the house working right now. We have the plumber, we have the tile guy, plus our cars. It's kind of like a maze trying to get out of this driveway. All right, so let's go find this shiplap, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I'd give you a tour of the light section here in Lowe's. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. This aisle smells like B.O. I have no idea why. Just when I walked on this aisle, huge whiff of B.O. I'm gonna keep moving. All right, so I'm definitely in the ballpark here. Looks like I have found it right here. But, hey, I didn't bring a cart. Did you bring a cart? I didn't bring a cart. Christine doesn't think about these kind of things, so I'm gonna turn back around, go get myself a cart, and uh, we'll come back. With the shiplap almost done, you could really see this bathroom starting to come together. The next day we finished up the shiplap, caulked all of the edges, and then since we had already put down the hardy board for the new tile, we covered that up to get ready for paint. Oh, you probably can't see me there. It's just seen here. So I'm going to pick up dinner. It is 9.06. We got the kids dinner earlier, but we just kind of went on. That's how projects go sometimes. And so we're gonna get some good stuff here. But uh, yeah, working hard, burning that late night oil. How cool do you no. look right now? Boom! Look at that! Well, look at that! Stop. Amazing! Our tile guy was scheduled to come the next day and so I was super motivated to try and get all of the painting done before then. Done? Uh, I'm done with the ceiling. 
here. And the grinding. Looks lovely. Oh. It's, it's only 11.45. Don't tell me what time it is, I don't want to know. <laughs> It is 1 a.m. I just finished priming and painting. I'm trying to beat the tile, guys, so we don't have to tape off all that tile. And in the dark light, the color does not look right. So I'm hoping we'll wake up and the color will be beautiful because we might be repainting. All right, we're bed. So after a few hours of sleep, we woke up to a beautiful day the next day, and after a lot of coffee, Andrea got started on her next project. I had a really hard time finding a vanity that was the right size for this space and so I decided to build one myself. And while our tile guy was here working on tile, that was the perfect time to do it. pleased with how this vanity turned out, but unfortunately we had less exciting news about the paint color I chose. So I'm getting ready to paint this bathroom for the third time, and by third time I mean two coats of one color, two coats of the second color. This will be coat five and six. <laughs> because this color has just been giving me a hard time. I'm gonna just go back to a white shiplap in here, I think it'll look good. I'm just having a hard time like competing and not complimenting the tile. So hopefully third time's a charm and this white looks great. And then the time had finally come for us to install the toilet. construction fashion it's taken three four times as long as we anticipated uh, tile should be finished today we've got to install baseboards and I've got the vanity finished to bring in here we finally after three paint colors went back to my tried and true white and it looks great electricals in yeah we'll finish cocking around the shower get this all cleaned up so close With the vanity in place, I could start working on installing the new baseboards. I didn't get this part on video, but I actually sprayed all of the baseboards before I installed them. That way, after I caulked and filled all the nail holes, I could just quickly come back and touch up those areas with paint. Okay. 
After finishing up the baseboards, it was finally time to start installing all of the finishing touches. For bathroom counters, I always try and find a remnant piece to save on cost. For this one, I found this beautiful beige colored quartz that looks so much like a natural stone but will be much more durable for a kid's bathroom. The bathroom was already looking so good, but it always amazes me what these finishing touches like artwork, plants, towels really do, just taking it to the next level. Wow, what an amazing transformation on this bathroom. It's so bright and airy, it's clean and classic. So let's talk about a few of our favorite elements in this bathroom. I think really I just love all of it, but the biggest surprise for me was the countertop. It was just so perfect. We went with this remnant piece of quartz, and it, but it looks a lot like real stone. And that with the wall-mounted faucet for the sink is just perfect. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, certainly a big highlight for me is the custom-built 
vanity. That thing looks amazing and I almost can't believe you made it. It looks so professional, so beautiful. It literally looks like it came out of a magazine, but nope, it came out of our backyard. <laughs> I also just really love the entire shower area, that antique brass shower system with the exposed pipes. That was one of the things on my list from the very beginning that didn't change and I love the way it fits that space and brings in some of that kind of vintage vibe. And I'll just say lastly, I love the half wall of shiplap with the peg rail. It just looks so clean, it looks beautiful, and I love that area of the bathroom. So now that we've talked about the things we love about this bathroom, let's talk about how much work this bathroom actually took. Okay, so first off, the timeline. We thought these bathrooms would take about two weeks, and in a perfect world where there's no delays, <laughs> That could happen. They ended up taking over four weeks. Now, in our defense, we were doing two full bathroom remodels at once. And yeah. so from day one, we had a lot of setbacks. So with all of that said, we definitely want to encourage you to take on projects that are well within your limit. You do not want to go opening up a bathroom and creating this huge mess and massive project for yourself if you haven't done that before. Yeah, so if you haven't tackled big renovations before, start with just simple cosmetic changes because paint is so powerful and yeah. that's how we really started out was just updating rooms with paint and then some other ideas for a simple beginner bathroom renovation would be to just like change things like your fixtures your faucet your light your shower fixtures get a new shower curtain and just try out some updates that way before you just dive all in with gutting an entire bathroom so that wraps up our bathroom renovation adventure and we want to say here that we actually did two bathrooms at one time so this is bathroom number one and you'll be seeing bathroom number two here shortly, so definitely stick around because I don't know which one I love more, bathroom one or bathroom two. So thanks for joining us on this adventure and we will catch you in another video very soon. In a home remodeling setting, I think it's worth- What, Asher? Okay. You're grounded, you cute little four-year-olds. Oh, that would happen. It's a good thing they're so cute. What's that? You're on limited time? <laughs> well, how about an interruption? <laughs> I'm like literally like staring at you like this. Like not even trying to be funny. I'm just <laughs> tired. <laughs> just tired. Just, this is authentic tiredness. So without further ado, we're... <laughs> what do I say again? It's only like five words. So without further ado, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so with that... <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> I can't do it. I feel like you're gonna attack me. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything. I've lost my confidence. I'm not gonna do anything and I'm trying not to laugh. So without further ado, let's finally... No. Alright, here we go. So without further ado, let's... Ja jump. Let's do it! So without further ado, let's... <laughs> Seriously. Are you pooping? <laughs> no. <laughs> On camera? That's weird. the boards I need. Been waiting for 20 minutes. I'm about to climb up there myself. And we just wanna go ahead and state this right now that a lot of these materials, the, like the toilet, the tub, the countertops that we were throwing out the window were actually not reusable. Mm -hmm. A lot of them had either chips on them or like the toilets, honestly, they barely flushed. We needed new <laughs> toilets for a while. Um, and so I know some of you are gonna be like, oh no, those were perfectly good. But we did give away and donate the stuff that we could. And then 
we made great content with the rest of it. That's right. <laughs> so now let's talk about what jobs we hired out for this project because we didn't do every single thing. So let's talk about what those were and why. Yeah, so in the planning process, we talked a lot about what do we want to do ourselves? What do we want to hire out? Because we have done these projects several times where we have done everything by ourselves. We just started thinking, talking about it and realized like I could do so many dressers in the same amount of time that it would take me to do that tile. And so we said, you know what? We'll flip a few extra dressers to help pay the labor costs. And then I'm kind of staying in my lane of what I'm good at. I'm more efficient. It's gonna be a better use of time. So we also hired out plumbing and electrical. And if we were to do this project entirely, we would have spent all of our time here. We couldn't have made any other videos. And so in this season, we went, you know what? We need to hire this out so we can get it done so that Andrea can move on to more projects so that you guys can come along with us instead of us getting bogged down in this one bathroom. I think I need some kind of theme song, like when I run to Lowe's, you know, just kind of get me amped up. All right, I got a couple lines, maybe like, a Lowe's run, a Lowe's run. That's all I've got so far. We'll, we'll have to keep working on it. You know what I mean? All right, this could be a line maybe. He doesn't really know his way around the store, but his wife keeps sending him back for more. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's keep going. TSP, I see CLR, ZEP, OUT, but I'm not seeing TSP. That's the only problem. Found it right there, boys. All right. So I would have to say that was one of my better Lowe's trips. Well under an hour. I mean, we're clocking probably 47 minutes, something like that. So got all three items <laughs> ready to head out. So maybe a lion could be like, hurry, gather all of your bros. Get them in the truck. We're going to Lowe's. That sounds really country. Wow. That's a good line. 